Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna take these little LED pixel lights, well, there they are in focus, and we are going to show you how to get control of them and how to control them from a lighting console. So there's gonna be a couple ways to do this and you've heard some of my uh, terms that I've thrown around previous to this, okay? Um, the first term that I've thrown around is controller. So you need some sort of pixel control box in order to get control uh, of these pixels, basically to plug these lights into. Okay, when we're talking about pixels, that's going to be a pixel controller because it converts network type DMX to pixel control data, which in this case is WS2811 data. That's a very common format. Okay, so that's the first piece of the puzzle that we need. We need a pixel controller. We need typically a power supply outside of that controller. Um, and some reputable brands of pixel controllers are going to be Entec, um, Digidot, and then from the Christmas light world, uh, Falcon and Culp type controllers. Okay. Um, those are all brands that you may see there. And so then your controller gets your DMX data down Artnet or SACN. That's networked DMX. Here's a video on that. Um, and it gets that data and then turns it into the pixel control. So this means that your lighting console or software or media servers, we'll talk about in a second, needs to be able to send the amount of universes of data that you're going to be needing down Artnet or SACN. Now, most common pieces of software, programs, whatever, are going to be able to do that. But if you're using like you know, one of those old Alation Show Designer 2s that were really popular, um, you know, just a, a board without a computer that has uh, DMX outputs on the back, then you're not going to be able to send out Artnet or SACN. You need that network DMX capability to be able to control these. The next question is number of channels. So if you're using like NTX DMXs or LightKey, um, you may not have enough DMX channels licensed to do a bunch of pixels, okay? Um, so what do you do? Well, uh, this is where a program like NTX Elm, which I have up right here, becomes your best friend, okay? Um, because now you can control out of your, your DMX software uh, with 8 or 15 channels, I believe it is. You control the media, the speed that it plays back, the intensity, etc., out of this other program. So in a show or service situation, you uh, wouldn't have to touch NTX Elm or another media server. You just have to set up. Then once you program it all into your lighting program, then you're ready to rock and roll. Um, you don't have to actually touch this program during a show or service, though you could um, if you needed to or have wanted to have somebody running it. Another option is, as you guys know, if you watch the channel, I'm a big Onyx fan. And Onyx has pixel mapping built in. So just because, this is a good point here too, just because your controller can support the number of outputs or universes that you need, doesn't mean that it's going to control it fluidly. Like another console that I talk about and recommend here is the Light Shark. And the Light Shark doesn't do pixel mapping. It's just not within the scope of what that little console is capable of, and it's not what it's designed to do. And so even though it has eight universes of DMX output and you could put pixels on it and it sends out Artnet or SACN, it's not a good fit if you're doing pixel mapping. You can run some effects across your pixels, sure, but ultimately you're going to get a much better result from actual pixel mapping, and Onyx has that built in. So now I want to take a pivot, go into the computer, and just set up real quick some quick pixel maps and show you how these programs work, just so you get a taste of it, so that you can learn more uh, about the capability. And then if you want to dive deeper and get step-by-step how-tos on how to use this stuff and how to put your pixels together, then check out and consider joining us at Learn Stage Lighting Labs. Here I am in Elm, first of all, as I talked about, if you're controlling pixels from a program that doesn't do pixel mapping or doesn't have a lot of channels, then NTX Elm is a great piece of software that's not expensive and has a demo version that you can use to get started. 
And the other cool thing about Elm is if you buy an Intec Pixel controller as your controller, and like I mentioned, their Octo can control eight universes of pixels. And so that's, uh, let's just do the math, 170 times eight, 1360 pixels. I knew that. Um, you can do 1300 pixels for 200 bucks and it comes with the Elm software. So you can't beat that with the stick if you need a pixel mapping software. Um, so the first thing is I just create a new stage. You set that to the aspect ratio of your media, done. And then it really walks you through how to set this up. So it says here, add your LED strips and create any shape you need. So you can add strips. Um, and this is gonna be, you know, let's just do like 10 strips of 170 each RGB, but they could be any color order. Whoops, go back to that. We're gonna go in lines, but we can go in any shape here. Actually, you know what, let's do some hexagons. If we were in lines, we can choose the way that they wire. Do they all go straight across? Do they zigzag, etc.? Okay, so it really does a lot for you here. We'll do hexagons because hexagons are fun. Uh, you can group pixels together to take up less channels. I can do that. We'll send out SACN, starting address one in this case. I'm um, actually, what I like to do, especially if you were using something like light key, is you'd probably use light key on universe one. And so maybe we just put this on universe 100 to keep him out of the way. Start address one, press add. Boom, there's my 10 hexagons in size. So now I've got this super cool hexagon shape thing, which is awesome. You can move these around, you know, rotate. I'm just gonna undo that. Move, move these around with the uh, little arrow here. Resize, whatever you need to make it fit your artistic vision. And then all you do is set up your pixel controller the same way. You know, output one is this pixel, output two is that pixel, that pixel, that pixel. It really depends a lot on how you design it as to how those line up. Um, but say each one of these is 170 LEDs, including the tiny one, which isn't really realistic. The tiny one would have less. Maybe each of these is an output on your controller. Boom, or every two. And so then, you know, you got 170 or whatever pixels um, before they re, re, uh, before you go to the next one. Then we go to media, they load some media in there, but you can add more. You can add your own video and image media. There's a lot of effects built in, as well as if you're running video content already, you can bring in Spout, MDI, MJPEG stream, whatever that is, uh, or a DMX bitmap. And so, you know, Spout and MDI being the really popular ways that out of ProPresenter or out of Resolume or some other program, you could send actual video signal uh, to Elm to map on the lights. Say we choose, oops, just chose webcam. I hope this doesn't crash because I'm recording. <laughs> uh, but it didn't. This is a great program. Um, so I'm just gonna add an effect. And then there are so many of these in here. Some of them are built to be audio reactive. Some of them are very simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a new one here. Boom. Then schedules, that doesn't apply to us here. That's for scheduling things on the clock. And then we play stuff. And so you literally, it's just like a video switcher where you've got a side A and a side B. Side A is live right now, then side B. Crossfade between them or not. Boom. We can add a color filter on top. We can change the intensity, speed. Everything's in, in really high resolution. It's not intense on hardware. It's really not that bad. Um, and you can customize the way all this stuff looks. So like here, I'm customizing this so I can have multiple of these that do different things. I can work with this stuff live and on the fly, whatever I need to do to map this on my lights. Then the way it looks on my lights, so if I go to stages, it's going to show me how this maps across my lights. And if I had this design set up behind me, the lights would flash right along with it. Okay, so that's Elm, really easy. If you were doing the remote setup, you go here to settings, you set up a DMX input. So I'd probably do that on SACN most of the time. Universe one, address, like say I was in light key or light shark and you know, I put it at 365. Then your fixture mode, basic or extended. Basic basically is just, has you work with just one side of this screen here. You know, one side of this video switcher and not the other. Uh, whereas I do generally do the extended, 
because then you get the two sides with the crossfade between them, which generally gives you some, some better options. And then these are the DMX channels. It actually shows you them at the address you assigned there, which is pretty cool. You're off to the races. What about Onyx? Let's go to Onyx here. So here's an Onyx show. I put a bunch of pixels in it. So this would just be the fixture RGB or RGB pixel, just a generic RGB. But with Onyx, it could be any kind of light. I've gone into the Dialos Pixel Mapper, which I've got a tutorial on here, I believe. Um, and I've drawn in some zones. And then I just go ahead. Oh, I don't have my wing attached. Um, so my third zone is actually a demo zone. So let's just get rid of one of them. So my one zone is not a demo zone. So I'm just going to select, oh, why not both of them? Cool. And so now I'm good to go. Or never mind, I could have used this one the whole time. Okay, so now I go in here. I can pick a piece of media, you know, whether it be video or still image like we were looking at, colored or not. I bring that guy up. Now it's playing across the lights. The only thing that I have to do is give my lights intensity. As you see, I missed that row there. And now this video clip plays across my lights, all built into Onyx as part of your license that you already have or you're using the free version. I can change that media all I want. I can even, as I had some zones stacked on top of each other, then you can crossfade between them you know, change looks on stage. And you can do whatever you want to on your LED pixel design. I really like this one where the lines just go out. This is by the VJ Zyper, I believe. Um, so that's pixel mapping in Onyx. Pretty easy. Um, the only downside is, of course, you have to have the universes that you need licensed in Onyx. But then you've got all this free media that's built into Onyx. You can bring in your own media. Oh, I did too. Yeah, I did bring in my own media. Is that there? Oh, yeah, it is there. <laughs> found this just free there's places that have free media online um and uh then you can go you know try stuff out see how it looks on your lights and have fun that's the biggest thing about pixel mapping is having fun so if you like this video and you want to have more fun you want to create custom pixel designs or check it out then you want to check out learn stage lighting labs and um, we're not open all the time in fact we only open to the public four times a year uh, so if, if doing custom LED designs and working with stuff like this sounds exciting to you, then definitely check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs. You won't be disappointed. Um, and if you are, there's a money back guarantee. So check that out. Keep watching these videos uh, as we always come out with more new stuff here on Learn Stage Lighting, including a brand new topic next month. Until then, I will see you guys later. Thanks.